Hi, this is Clint with Tech Bargains. and today we're going to look at M-Secure, made by M7 Software. In this day and age, you've got a lot of um, things that you have to remember. A lot dealing with the internet, say registration codes, uh, passwords, you've got your bank account information that you've got to remember, um, you've got birthdays you got to remember, you've got social security numbers you got to remember. There's just tons of things you need to remember and you don't have them on you all the time. With this software, M-Secure, you're able to save all this information in one place and then you're also able to secure it while the iPhone is on um, I mean when it's when it's unlocked um, a lot of times you leave your phone unlocked just because you've got kids and they like to play games and uh, so they need to be able to get into the phone to be able to do that and with this software you can you can have it unlocked and yet still have your information secured where uh, people need a password to get into it. So let's go ahead and get into this software here. I've just made a simple password here. You can make it as complex as you like. The more complex you make it, obviously the more secure it is. Here I have uh, a couple things that I've already input into here. Uh, for instance, I've got my bank account information. Obviously not really my bank account information, uh, but just as an example shows you the account number. You can enter in your PIN number so you don't have to remember that. Uh, and then you enter in your name, the branch, the, the location that you're at, and then also the phone number for the place. Uh, several different options for this software. We'll go ahead and uh, see if we can add one. So we'll come up here to the right top and the first thing I want to show you is the plethora of options, default options that they have anywhere from bank accounts to clothing sizes to combinations to credit cards tons of different things insurance information prescriptions that you might not remember on a day-to-day -day basis registration codes vehicle information um, I've actually had a couple times where I've had to have my vehicle information as far as like uh, renting from a hotel or something and I don't remember it but I've got it in here uh, stored and so I don't really need to remember it let's go ahead and click done the other option that you have to choose from is, let's say, for instance, let's go to bank accounts. Um, let's say, for whatever reason, you don't like that icon. You can actually just click on it, and they've all got their own set of icons you can choose from in here. Just a ton of different icons. We'll go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and add something in here. Let's make uh, combinations. Let's say I've got combination for school. and let's put in the code 34 right 54 left oops 54 left and 32 oops right so we'll click done there's also notes in there that you can add if you need to we'll go ahead and save it so now you've got the combination also in there it sorts these things in alphabetical order let's say you have a ton of them the quickest and easiest way to do it is just click on this left bottom here for uh, for this and then you just type in let's say school and it comes up automatically nice little feature uh, you can sort it by name or you can sort it by type either one will work it just depends on how many you have in there and everything the bottom right icon shows you information basically basically gives you options in here you can change the password or create the password for that matter um, has an auto lock feature it has a really nice feature called self-destruct what it allows you to do is let's say someone's trying to hack into your your information here you can either uh, tell it to wipe everything after the fifth attempt or the tenth or the twentieth attempt um, I usually have this set for the tenth attempt just because sometimes I forget passwords and I've got quite a few to, to choose or to, to try in order to get it correct. You can obviously set that down to five if you like or set it to never. Uh, completely up to you. But as I said before what it does do is it wipes all the information off of there. So the other thing that you can do if that happens is you can sync it with either your desktop or you can uh, sync it up to your email do a backup of it basically and then you can restore it down uh, if you remember the password 
This also allows you to uh, keep it on your computer, uh, which includes a Mac or a Windows operating system, and you can uh, sync it back and forth that way. You've got fonts you can choose from as far as large or small, you've got themes you can choose from, and you've got information about Insecure. You can have it auto rotate, and you can actually edit the type lists, which is kind of nice. For instance, under bank accounts here, let's say you don't want to add your PIN number in here, you want to keep that blank. Uh, you can actually just click on the uh, minus bar there, and it will omit it from the selections. Or you can add some in, or you can create a new field. Whatever is your preference. Going back out here. Okay, so I've showed you all the options with that. So the next thing we do, we'll go ahead and create another one here. Let's go ahead and make it some insurance information. So for insurance, you can add in a description, so it would be the name of the place, policy number, your group number and who's insured, and then the date, phone number. Uh, and don't forget you can add in other fields that might not be in here by default, or you can take them out. Very nice feature. I found this to be very helpful for me for uh, several reasons. Main reason being I don't remember everything all the time, and I'm not able to carry everything with me all the time. So this allows me to keep my uh, account information as far as bank accounts or Netflix account, uh, Hulu account, um, just a ton of different options that that I don't usually keep. I've got children and I don't remember their social security numbers so I'm able to keep them in there and uh, pull that up at any time. Uh, driver's license numbers and things like that are also uh, features you might add to this. So if you like this review and you'd like to see some other reviews by Tech Bargains, please log on to www.youtube.com forward slash techbargains. You can also look at our website at www.techbargains.com forward slash reviews. Thank you very much. Have a good day.